Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to welcome you to the uh, Ipsis seminar, uh, online seminar on the smart referencing using Mendeley. Okay, so um, I would also like to congratulate Ipsis for, you know, keep on organizing uh, the series of you know, IGS enhancement series uh, seminar and then we have uh, IGS research skills seminar, data analysis skills, and also as well as the writing skills. So they have uh, done a very good job in doing that. Okay, talk about the uh, all the series, all the seminars that have been given to the postgraduate. I'll be free of charge. There it is, a free of charge. Uh, because of we identified that uh, there is a problem of GOT. Back in 2016, we have a very, very low uh, uh, GOT, graduate on time uh, rate uh, for PhD, about 5%, about master's, about 2%. And that actually allow Ipsys to do some analysis and look into the procedures and look into the, the problem of GOT, why uh, the problem of non-GOT, okay? And somehow rather they found out that uh, there is a problem with the uh, the students' ability in research skills, as well as managing the thesis itself. Okay, so we know that when you try to, you know, deal with a large uh, documents, uh, there is a lot that you need to manage. For example, your figure numbering, your um, table numbering. You have these equations. Okay, so as well as the citations that we're going to focus on this uh, uh, sessions on smart referencing using Mendeley. And, uh, and because of that, uh, Ipsys has uh, decided to do a lot of uh, uh, workshop on that, uh, whereby we have the uh, uh, Microsoft Word template, eh, using the template to format your thesis, as well as this Mendeley. So every month, if I'm not mistaken, every month they have this, uh, Ipsys has uh, organized this two workshop, and this very much will help you a lot in writing your thesis, because the research is the research, but then when it comes to uh, presenting whatever the findings that you have, you need to put it into a nice thesis at the end of your study, is it? So, uh, there is a, a need for you to do it yourself, okay? Because all the way, the journey of PhD, the journey of master's, you, from the start until the, until the very end, it must be from your own work. It's not uh, worth that you do the analysis, I mean, you do the uh, start from the, uh, the research work from, from the beginning, but at the end, you you hire someone someone else to do the formatting for you to do the citation for you citation management for you because that will create a lot of problems when you do when you want to um present your thesis and you'll be you know drill uh in the viva sessions because uh, the 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 panels will always refer to the you know the tables the figures that you so once if you do it yourself then you can mind mapping you can you you will definitely know uh, where the figure is where the citation is all right so that will be the the needs of uh, ipsis to keep on uh, organize this workshop right okay so let's uh, before that let's look at the problem of managing the thesis we call the uh, the we identify i mean the, the type of long documents that we can have now is about uh, thesis there can be an article proceedings books and report whereby in these uh, documents there will be a lot of formatting right? the font size will be different will be the styles will be different from heading subheading so it deals a lot with the uh uh, a lot of a uh, various uh, style, various fonts. So it needs a, a special task, a special way, special technique for you to manage uh, large documents. And then, uh, and we we talk about thesis. We have a uh, many chapters, for example. Is it? We have a uh, many chapters that you need to deal with, um, and of course you have a cross section. Okay, from one chapter to another chapter, for example. Is it? <coughs> so. 
and uh, we talk about the reports later on when you uh, when you uh, join a company then you have to prepare the financial report uh, an annual report uh, for the report to be gathered together to be um, uh, consolidated into one a report at the end of course before that you have many authors so and it has a special way for you to deal with the uh, the the reports where we have many authors right so uh, there's a, a a special way a special formatting technique for you to deal with and then we'll talk about the cross-referencing for the thesis we have this uh, figure numbering tables numbering equations numbering and citation as well that we're going to focus in this um, seminar and we also have this cross-referencing of the sections from because we always refer to section 2.1 for example 2.3 so when we have a, a corrections to be made you change a lot during the course of your I mean thesis writing stage of course these numbers will be changed again and again and again keep on re keep on changing and you have um, it, it, it doesn't worth for you to do it manually so it has to be done automatically by using a special technique right and then uh, again corrections and amendments in the course of uh, in for you to complete your studies you have a lot of stages from the proposal preparations and then you have defense research proposal uh, after that you have a corrections and then you prepare for your uh, uh, thesis for the viva and then after that you have a corrections for the viva and then the final will be the uh, thesis formatting checking by the ipsis so you have a lot of a uh, stages to be made and of course this has a special way and that's why we introduce these um, uh, methods for you to format your thesis uh, that's actually from dr zuli the nzj formatting methods as well as you use this mendeley for the citations and next is a generating toc table of contents remember after you complete your thesis the whole thesis right at the end you must generate this table of contents whereby you have the section as well as uh, the heading subheading as well as the page numbers so uh, every time the page is changing you have to update your toc is that it so that it doesn't work to do it manually so you have to let the words to do it automatically to uh, to 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 uh, to keep on updating all the page numbers, and not only the TOC table contents, you also have the list of figures as well as list of tables for you to uh, do the corrections. So, okay, and then uh, finally, we, of course, uh, when we talk about thesis, there is a formatting to follow. Okay, so um, the MQA has uh, stated that every uh, university must have its own style. This is format. This is format style. So uh, we provide uh, Ipsis have provide a guideline. This is guideline. So everybody has to follow that, right? To comply with the MQA. Okay. All right. So this will be the course outline. Uh, I'm going to talk about what is the Mendeley for you. Uh, for those who are the first time of using this Mendeley, I'm going to talk about what is a Mendeley, and what it's all about, and then uh, there will be a, a demo sessions. Uh, creating account and manage your profile and then we're going to, to look at uh, creating your library how you're going to add more PDF file more articles more entry to your library okay so all this will be the uh, the demo and then uh, managing your documents and references okay um, once you have created your library then uh, how are you going to manage them uh, how are you going to manage them and then uh, do some references uh, to that uh, uh, documents and then uh, of course the most important thing is how to cite how to use the Mendeley for the citations management in your with uh, together with your words is that it so this is the ultimate uh, function of Mendeley because you want to cite in your thesis uh and, and then generating bibliographies at the end after you have used the citations have cite citations on the throughout the thesis then you need to generate the bibliographies and then we're going to look at how some of the uh functions um, extra functions for you to 
uh, uh, subscript superscript for example italics of your titles then i'm going to show you how to do that and finally uh, sorry before that we have the man managing citation styles right so how are you going to if you have a customized style you want to uh, slightly change the uh, the default citation style uh, for example the apa style where we have this uh, D -O doi numbers some of the supervisors probably the panels doesn't like it you want to remove it then i'm going to show you how you're going to uh, change that citation style as well as the uh, the authors uh, when we have a long authors list of authors and then you want to shorten that using it at all and i'm going to show you how you're going to do that and finally the uh, mandalay also has the sharing references uh, also can be shared uh, with others uh, using groups okay right so what is mandalay so based in london all right so uh, actually the mandalay was uh, actually um encountered or discovered by three german phd students okay the three german phd students was founded in 2007 november 2007 and the mandalay actually uh, based on the two researchers two scientists which is the first one is the biologist named after gregor mandel and the other one is a russian scientist which is known as a dimitri mendeleev mendeleev so this is the dimitri mendeleev is the creator of the periodic table of elements i think everybody knows about the periodic table of uh, elements so uh, the mendeley is actually based on these two names and the three germans has come up with this uh, mendeley while carry out in their phd and now there are 30 plus researchers graduates and software developers from all over these universities imperial college we have stanford university university of cambridge so they work together to come up with this mandalay and uh, initially they are back uh, funded by the skype warner bros as well as the last fm so this is the uh, the sponsor the sponsor for this mandalay okay but uh, in 2013 okay but in 2013 uh, Elsevier has bought this Mendeley for about uh, they call it about fifty millions, uh, fifty millions of uh, uh, pound, fifty mi sorry fifty million euro. They bought it, and they integrate some of the product, the Elsevier product, which, for example, Science Direct, Scopus. Uh, they integrate as well as with the Mendeley. So now Mendeley has become not only the reference management. Uh, Mendeley also can be used to help to you to do the research because from within the Mendeley you can search for any papers and uh, Mendeley also can suggest propose or uh, suggest some of the papers that have been uploaded uh, as based on your data or the library that you have so it will suggest what would be the new paper that has been uploaded in the Mendeley so you can search for it and you can request make a request to obtain the pdf of the technical papers okay so now it's been owned by uh as well okay next right uh, this is some of the integrations right eh? yes we have sign direct scopus so you can easily um uh, integrate or you can use whatever you have in the sign direct directly into the mendeley so what is a Mendeley? It's a free academic software. It's a free academic software because uh, once you register with the Mendeley, you're going to get uh, a free two gig cloud storage, whereby this cloud storage will be used for you to uh, upload. I mean, it's, uh, it's not used to upload, but it will sync with your Mendeley desktop. So you're going to have a Mendeley desktop, <coughs> okay, that will be installed in your laptop, and after you create register then you also have this uh, web version of your mandalay so in between them you must sync okay? you must synchronize between mandalay and your desktop and sometimes it will be done automatically once you open the desktop and you have an internet connection uh, the the mandalay will be uh, automatically sync with the web versions so whatever you have in the desktop 
will be also be available in your web versions and you can also assess okay you can access all these um, uh, papers through your mobile through your tablet your smartphone okay on the go so you can uh, read the papers but of course with limited uh, function the ultimate experience or the full function only available for your desktop right but for web and a mobile version you can only also uh, you can only you know uh, read the papers and make some annotations just that right but if you want to have a full uh, function that must be in the desktop okay so manually also available cross platform which means it can also be installed in uh, windows macintosh as well as uh, linux right and it can also be accessed by major browsers the web version can be accessed from major browsers safari mozilla as well as uh, chrome right and uh, this is free free game. so of course you need to buy if you want to have a more space uh, uh exceed that two gig i think two gig uh, uh, is enough for you to for your phd inshallah right okay so uh, yes this is uh, how does mandalay help you you, this is actually the basic function. I mean, the basic that you need to understand the fundamental about Mendeley. So, Mendeley actually, I need to trigger this. You actually can make an analogy so that your Mendeley desktop, this is your Mendeley desktop, I believe, right? So, this is Mendeley desktop, very much similar to your physical library. Okay, and you must understand that everything that you want to cite in your thesis must be in your library must be in your mendeley desktop in your mendeley library okay archive so everything is it a pdf is it a, an excerpt uh, one page from your from a book if it's going to be a hearing in the court okay hearing in the court and probably some a song a, a writer Okay, we have a, a piece of a writing song, right? So you want to uh, refer that that everything must be in your uh, in your uh, Mendeley. Okay, so you can actually export or include add your PDF file straight into your uh, Mendeley library, or you can from uh, access from the browser when you open a science direct scopus does i triple e for example you can actually push that straight away to your mandalay uh, without uh op without save without you know uh, normally you're going to download the pdf files and then you're going to add uh, manually into your library so you can use a, a mandalay browser to directly push from your browser into your Mendeley and as well as you have uh, for example your hearing yeah? uh, a piece of art a piece of um, a picture for example an art artist and art so you want to also to code that and to cite that into your thesis then you have to make sure that you have the all particulars and that will be in form of entry a single entry is it whereby this entry will record uh, the author of the uh, the piece of, of the art work uh, you can have this uh, where it is uh, uh, published for example so you have, must have this all document details and that will be an entry so you have a pdf file as well as the the manual entry uh, uh, that will be put into your this is so everything that you need to cite must be in your Mendeley desktop once you have everything in Mendeley desktop then you push into your cloud storage okay that will be synced into your cloud storage whereby you have only two gig and that is enough for your phd masters inshallah two gig once it is a, a cloud uh, account okay cloud storage then you can access it from your mobile you can download you can mobile uh, sync with your mobile your smartphone as well as the other 
PC, for example. You have PC at home. You have PC at your your um your office, right? So you can access all the papers from uh from the cloud storage that you have just now using from there. And finally, you can also um read whatever you have in your library from the browser using the web version, is it? But that as well can be accessed from there. All right. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so next is let's look at what happens. Okay, so Mendeley's three key values. So this is three key values that uh, Mendeley will offer. One is as a reference manager. Uh, second one will be the research network and groups. It enables collaborating and knowledge sharing, not only uh, uh, for your uh, citation management, it also can be as a collaboration and knowledge sharing purpose. And finally, for the API, this is for the programmer. You can integrate actually your uh, Mendeley with others. So we're going to focus on that uh, drive researcher productivity using a reference manager and as well as the research network. So what is a Mendeley? Uh, again, it's a Mendeley is a reference manager allowing you to manage, read, share, and notate and cite your research papers. Number two is uh, an academic collaboration, a network with four million users to connect like-minded researchers and discover research trends and statistics. Okay, so again, how Mendeley drive researcher productivity? You can add and organize your PDF. You can import. Uh, and organize PDF from your computer. You can actually export from EndNote. If you uh, previously uh, used the EndNote, then you can actually migrate whatever you have in the EndNote into the Mendeley, as well as the other reference works, Peppers, Zotero, uh, into your Mendeley. And then you can read and annotate, okay? Uh, so you don't have to print all your articles. You just use whatever you have in the Mendeley, and then you can open, you can read, and then annotate. Uh, you know, make a comment, right, straight away to your uh, articles. And then, of course, a reference manager, whereby you're going to generate citation and bibliography in Microsoft Word, Open, Open Office, and Latex, and so on and so forth. Okay, uh, as well as the collaborate and interact, uh, you can create a group, for example. Okay, you can create a group, and then you can interact with others. I'm going to show you what are the benefits of using the Mendeley. Not only for your reference manager, you can collaborate with others. You can join a group, the established group that everybody has shared, shared uh, the papers within that group. And then you can also uh, benefit from that sharing of the PDF file of the articles through that groups. And of course, I did mention just now that you can sync uh, uh, your whatever you have in Mendeley in your laptop to, this, to, to the cloud storage. Every PDF file will be uploaded into your cloud storage. And therefore, it will become your backup, is it right? So if everything happens to your laptop, you still have your uh, cloud storage to save to uh, to save all your uh, files, your articles, and therefore you can actually uh, assess or you can download it for other uh, PC, and then you can have a backup all the time. You can sync, and finally, network and discover. You can also discover papers, people. And public groups so that can benefit you and this is a, some comparison between Mendeley and others you have a Mendeley EndNote, RefWorks, Zotero Peppers uh, the rest yes UITM has a licensed version of EndNote uh, but uh, it is a limited uh, function compared to Mendeley so even though the Mendeley is free you look at that every you have a tick the green tick knowledge discovery as well free and the de uh, open database personalized paper recognition readership so there are more uh, advantage compared to others you still can migrate from endnote to mendeley if you like okay and if you uh, look at there is a, another free version which is only zotero that gives you a 300 meg again uh, for knowledge discovery there is a less function, less uh, benefit than you Zotero offer compared to Mendeley. Okay, uh, that's it for the uh, this uh, for the uh, introduction part.